Lux Nation G Lux here. I'm coming your way with something a little different than what I've usually done here on the channel. I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use this Go XLR. All the settings are going to be properly done here. And no matter where I went on the internet, I could not find a video that properly explained this to me. I don't know, man. There shouldn't be a reason for you to watch any other single video that deals with the Go XLR on YouTube other than this one because they're all wrong. If you have any form of echoing problem, don't watch them because I've watched every single one of them. I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I literally spent like the span of two to four days scouring the internet looking for a hot fix on this. Nobody helped me. No one. No one. But it's all good, man. Your boy found the fix for you. Just watch this video. You won't have any problems. I went through these problems, but you don't. That you don't. So just make sure you follow them. Pause the video if you have to. I'm not, I'm going through this quickly. I'm not here to waste your time. All the other Go XLR videos from all the other channels, cool. It's a lot of cool things are said, but they're wasting your time, literally. I'm not down for that. As you can tell, I've upgraded a lot of this stuff around the channel. I'm, I've invested a lot of time, energy, money on upgrading everything. And one of the things that I did end up getting was the Go XLR. The Go XLR is a beast of an audio interface. It gives you control of your audio like never before. You got a four channel mixer. You can control the volume of all your audio sources in real time. So you could always make sure that your music and your gaming and your stream audio and all that is exactly how you want it to be and not only that but it looks beautiful the colors you can adjust them to however you want you can change this all up and it pretty much goes with any single microphone that you have and it makes it just sound so much better and crisper the go xlr is a beast of an audio interface there's so much things that you can do with this the quality of this is so high end and by the way this is not a sponsored video by a tc helicon or anything like that everywhere i've gone on the internet i've scoured i've scoured all of the internet trying to find the ideal settings and how to properly route this that you get no audio echoing on streams or anything like that on a one pc setup you shouldn't have a problem after watching this video if you have a problem with your go xlr you most likely have physical errors with how cables are being connected or it's your fault it's literally your fault on the settings it's your fault yeah it's got to be your fault man so i got you guys i got you don't worry about it i followed everything that all of these videos said and shouts out to anyone who has a go xlr video but it's not going to compare to this one dude legit this one will solve every single problem you can encounter on the go xlr and on one pc setup legit you're not gonna get any form of echoing or anything so before i continue make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't blessed the bell to click that notified every single time i drop a new video i'm trying to make this video very short in comparison to other go xlr videos i don't want to waste your time i don't want to waste my time either because all the stuff that i'm going to show you real quick it's already on the internet and if you're watching this video most likely you have already seen most of the stuff that I've gone through. So I'm just gonna go by it very quickly. I'm gonna tell you the one thing that no other Go XLR tutorial video that I've seen has. And this was like the big thing that like ruined my streaming for me. So let's get into it. All right, this is what the Go XLR looks like, right? Like the app, you gotta download the app. But if you're at this point, I'm pretty sure you have the app. You have to have the app. All right, so you wanna open up down system settings right click on the little speaker over here on the bottom and you want to make sure that out output is the system tc helicon go xlr choose your input broadcast stream so anything that you hear on broadcast stream is literally what you're going to hear on your stream and just in case if you're playing music in the background just make sure that you first have to make sure spotify is actually playing or whatever whatever app you're using for music has to actually be playing the music for you to be able to put the output to the proper channel on the go xlr all right so this is why you guys are here you guys are here on this video right now to see this point of the video you want to press down control panel on the top right all right so every single video that i've seen up until now tells you about this point you're making chat your default communication device which is what you're supposed to be doing and you're making system your default device 
which is what you're supposed to be doing but no one ever tells you to go to the recording tab you see this little tab right here recording no one ever tells you to go there dude go to recording make broadcast remix your default device and the chat mix your default communications device make sure that your settings in the recording tab of the sound control panel look like this if they don't look like this you're going to get echoes on your stream this is what it's supposed to look like playback like this recording like that there we go you should have literally no problems with your stream now in regard to how things are routing to different places let's go into the go xlr app now all right so this is the go xlr app okay cool mic setup real fast if i have a, conde a condenser mic so i'm putting condenser uh, gain you should you should be able to find and another thing is it's constantly saying clipping has what did it say clipping has occurred lower the microphone's gain there's no real clipping it's just i don't know why that comes out but just leave it in a point where like if you yell it'll go into the red but if you're talking even like at a louder tone if you're farther away from the mic it's towards a good area i'm i i don't even know if this is proper what i'm doing but i'm gonna give it to you and i've i found no problem with what i'm doing the gate is another important thing if you put it all the way up you can't hear anything keep lowering it until you find like the right here so i was at 44 right so there we go that's my 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 game my my noise gate is there there you go that's all the settings you need to keep it like that there's nothing really different you have to do equalizer is what you sound like your voice real quick you can pause the video if you need to see what i have it on but this is it i have it at these settings of the video right now if you're pausing the video at this point make sure you're subscribing the compressor ends up being like whatever you want it to be the the compressor compresses really high noise into lows and really low noise it makes it higher so this is where i have it at i have no complaints with it i think it's okay the yeser is so that you don't sound like an like a snake when you're talking when you're talking and saying s's I left mine at 45. I really don't care for it. It doesn't really make much too much of a difference. It's a fancy way to do it. Okay, cool. You set up your mic all cool and dandy. I'm not going to go through anything else that this other stuff, the mixer effects, all this stuff is up to you, man. But this is what the what the routing it should look like. Headphones, I have everything on. And if, if you have line in, usually it's because we have a second something connected to the Go XLR, like a second PC or something. It doesn't matter i left everything on i don't have a problem with any of it that's it so that's all i am going to guide you through on go xlr app all right so i'm on streamlabs but if you're using obs or anything else it should be very similar i'm using streamlabs so if you go to settings on streamlabs desktop audio device one should be the system desktop audio device two should be disabled mic auxiliary device broadcast stream and you're set that's literally all there is don't let any other video complicate things for you. This is very simple. The most important things in terms of how things are actually routed through your sound system is on that playback tab and on that recording tab. Just make sure it looks like that and you should be set to go, man. You should really be set to go. I hope this video helped. And if this video helped you in any shape, way or form, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, and thank you guys for watching. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, let's communicate. Follow me on all the socials in the description below. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And I'll, you know, we can talk about it. I'm still learning this Go XLR. So let's learn together. And if you have anything that you can share that I said wrong or that you want to add, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'm G Lux. Much love. Stay awesome.